And Pittsburgh ISD voted unanimously to call for a bond election on May 6 to vote on a more than $88 million bond. The decision comes after the recommendation came from the district's facility planning committee, committee as they plan to expand some of their current classrooms while creating new facilities and even building dedicated bus roads connecting their primary, junior and high school buildings. Well, I, I think that the biggest thing uh, for us is that we're trying to put a, a long range plan together for our district, looking at the needs, not just uh, these immediate needs, which which this bond would address those, but it also puts a, a plan in place for our district. Waldrop says they're looking for a long term plan moving forward, addressing the ISD's needs for the next 30 to 40 years.